a year ago that Hurricane Matthew made landfall northeast of Charleston, South Carolina. The Category 1 storm pushing towards our state with damaging winds and torrential rains. In its wrath, record-breaking and life-threatening flooding over parts of the east. One of the areas hit hard was Duplin County. It's where we find WNCT's Elizabeth Tu. She joins us with an update on how the recovery efforts are going there, Elizabeth. Angela, I returned here to Hallsville Presbyterian Church. I also visited Riverside Barn Antiques. Both places completely destroyed by floodwaters after Matthew. They're now rebuilt, but the lives of folks at both are forever changed. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. For Jenny and Aaron Cavanaugh, owners of Riverside Barn Antiques, these pictures are worth five times that. I would say we lost 95 to 99. It was not good. Curio cabinets were laid over. We had dishes and some of the, they floated and some of the dishes might be in the back that belonged in the front or vice versa. In the last 22 years since they've been open, the stores flooded four times. After Hurricane Matthew, four feet of water poured in through the windows and the walls. You're in shock. I don't think I had time to think. It took over five months to reopen as they waited for insurance, cleaned and bought new merchandise. The same amount of time that it took the congregation of Hallsville Presbyterian Church to hold a Sunday service in their sanctuary again. We just basically had to take everything out, strip everything out, clean and sanitize and get everything prepared. Pastor Mark Houston says 18 inches of water crept into the church for the second time since Floyd. And it had been a difficult time in the life of the church, particularly when Floyd came. And it was brought back those memories. Everything is replaced now, new paint, new lighting. It was difficult. It wasn't easy. But we had uh, folks in the community that helped us. Community support. It's the one thing both places had in the aftermath. We have these walls. We have this restored. But had it not been restored, we still have that faith. And that's what keeps us going. But the Lord's blessed us so much. And if God's hand hadn't been in it, we couldn't have come back. Both the Kavanaugh's and Pastor Houston say that's what they want you to take away from their experiences. If you see someone who needs help, do all you can. They say you'll be rewarded for it in the long run. Live in Duplin County, Elizabeth Tew, 9 on your side.